Hey guys, it's weekend vlog number 31. For some reason I can never remember these things. Maybe it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm obviously in my car. It's right after work and I'm going to pick up my friend and we are going to hopefully go shopping. Um, I feel like this whole home thing is like not coming together and I suck at deciding on these like home things and no one is letting me out of this parking lot. Anyway, I don't know where we're going. I know she said that she needed to go to the container store. Who knows where the wind will take us. Friday night, party hard, clearly. I had an okay week. It was intense, actually. Too many meetings. Let me out of here. Oh my gosh. This is my lucky day. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So at home is closing and so apparently there's sales, but oh, these are 10% off. Okay, and I found these stools for my counter and it's like got the perfect butt shape. Can you tell? And then these are kind of okay. Kind of okay. Are any of these okay? Are they? No. Nothing is okay. None of these are okay. Ooh, I think. Oh no. It's perfect. They have so much completely random stuff here like who decided all of this needed to be in one store and I'm pretty sure it's like just color-coded and that's pretty much all the organization they have I'm so lost in this world why did I come here too low? George I found a thing hi and you're gonna put marble on it yeah. fancy I know too fancy for me this is so like depressing nothing held back Okay, so I'm on the way home. I got stools I will show you when I get inside because I know it's dark right now. And uh, I also got a side table and I got it on sale. I only got two stools though and I have to go to another location to get the other two. The other location isn't closing down so they're going to be full price but it's not. they were only 10% off anyway. I really like them and I can't wait to see how they look. Hopefully they look good. I just put two of the stools in place and I would like to show you what they look like without the makeup bag. That's better. Okay, I have them tucked under the counter and I think they look good. There's like a lot of like wood on wood on wood cat contrast, but I don't know. I think they work. But I need to put some kind of like pads on the bottom so they don't scrape the floor. Um, but it's like... It's almost not like a bike seat, but it's like formed to a booty shape. Georgetta looked online to see like, oh, if I could just order it or something. And she was finding those same stools for like $250 and I got them for 70 each. Hallelujah. I got a couple other things. I got this side table, which I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I really like the bottom. The I also got this little... Uh, mat for the front door but this is kind of interesting it's almost like cork material or something and i also got new hangers last but not least my favorite purchase i got cheesy kitschy little pink flamingos for the backyard guys i have the littlest most dinky backyard ever 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 and I just had to get these and I cannot wait to put them together. I got a thing in my backyard, like early this last week, um, some guys showed up and they're in the backyard and not only did they cut the grass, which I'm really happy they did that, but they also put this little box back there and apparently they're gonna leave us a note on the door when we can actually call Comcast and get cables. So it's like, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know when I'm gonna get there, but I think we're closer than ever. I'll show you the thing in all of its glory. Actually, there's, no, I put it on Snapchat. I showed Snapchat, I haven't showed you. I'm making a pizza. After that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might edit a video and I might go to Half Price Books. Hello, it's Saturday. I am making coffee and I'm also making waffles. I accidentally slept my whole life away today. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, I was not thinking. My phone died and it was just like, oh, time to sleep forever. Um, two new lamps. Recent updates in my life. This, I feel weird this morning. I can't stop. Waffle sandwiches are taking over my life. Guys, it's like four o'clock. 
p.m. and I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I've been like, I'm really losing it. That And I look like the Crypt Keeper, excuse me. I haven't had time to like get myself together at all except for like brushing my teeth and stuff. But I'm in my room where I film videos. Oh, probably didn't know that was there because it doesn't show in my videos. All it shows are these two godforsaken doors over here. Not good. Um, I don't like my filming setup at all and I've been trying to improve. I actually talked to you guys about this, how I ordered like a new camera and a lens and mics because I'm, I don't know why I'm like trying so hard because it's like I, I took advice from someone that really knows what they're talking about and um, I don't know how to work this stuff and I'm trying, I've been like experimenting and trying to work with the lens and the mics to like make them work together and I can't figure it out and it's so frustrating. Look, I don't know why I'm showing this to you because I don't know how to use it yet so it's not like I can really talk to you about it but like it's so much bigger than my other thing. This little ring light is in the way. It's like a giant uh, lens and then on top I have like the microphone and it's been really disappointing and frustrating and it's Saturday and I feel like I'm wasting my life. But in case you're curious, I will tell you the new stuff that I got, but I'm not suggesting it because I don't know how to use it. So I don't want to tell you to get it and then you don't know how to use it. Okay, so I got this lens, this camera. I got this microphone setup. I love you too, but I do not love this part. I do not love the technical part. So, um... I just need to do something else with my life right now. But it sucks because I want to film videos. It's time for a snack and it's time for me to just like get ready and not look like the Crypt Keeper anymore. <laughs> I need to eat something. What am I going to... I think I'm going to have soup. I think I'm going to have potato broccoli cheese soup. Sadly eating defeated soup. Alright, so I did my hair and makeup and kind of like totally gave up on my outfit, but it's just because, I don't know, I feel like really, I feel really down today, tonight, whatever. And I think it's like partially because I didn't figure out my camera thing and I can't believe I sound like I'm gonna cry. Ugh. I was just kind of crying on the phone, so that's probably why, but I'm just frustrated about that kind of and then also just other stuff. Just kind of feeling like down and lonely a little bit. So I was kind of planning on seeing one of my friends tonight and then that didn't work out. And so part of me is like, oh, well, this is a perfect time to like organize things and like continue like getting life together because like not everything is unpacked and that's crazy. I've been here for too long for that. And um, but I feel like I'm just going crazy in here. So I need to get out. I need to. So I should just get over myself. Ah. Whatever. All right, guys, very quickly, I have to share one of my most important purchases as of late. They are pizza panties. And they're from Target, of course, obviously. Don't you know my life by now? I know. Okay, so I should not be holding the camera while driving, slash I'm at a stoplight, don't worry. But I just discovered that Tame Impala came out with a new album, like a week or two ago, and <gasps> That makes my night. I'm so excited to listen to it because I really like the single that came out, Let It Happen. I don't know if you like this band, but in case you wanted to know, they're one of my all-time favorites. So um, I'm going to listen to this and enjoy it. And I'm going to Half Price Books and hopefully that cheers me up. And there's like a guy that's looking at me right now. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning and I am on my way to meet up with Alan to go to that antique mall thing that we went to uh, a few weeks ago, a month ago, something like that. Um, he didn't get to stay very long that time, so we wanted to go back. I kind of fell off with vlogging last night. I was just having like a bad slash sad day, and uh, today definitely feels a lot better. I listened to the new Tame Impala album, and it's actually really amazing. At first I was like, oh, this is so different, and um, it kind of feels like it has like kind of like that 70s R&B slash disco-ish feel, like influences, which is something that started happening to music like a couple of years ago that I noticed, I'm sure, whatever, just as far as me noticing, and um, 
at first I didn't like it and then I've definitely warmed up to it the more I've listened to it and then now I'm in like that vicious cycle of like oh good thing I don't want to listen to anything else so it's made my music choices very simple if you didn't know I released my latest playlist on Spotify I uh, made it public or whatever I had been working on that um, playlist for like six months or something it's called fantasy bubble and I'll put the link down below and I, I just I think I just tweeted it and I think I posted it on tumblr if you want to listen to some music that I like that's how you can do it 50 to 90 percent of this album is like breakup songs just saying I am chihuahua <laughs> the cookie jar why there's so many confusing things here is a reef with antlers. So basically, this place is just full of nightmares around every corner. And even though I pretty much got crucified on Instagram for showing a bear that I found in an antique shop, I'm still showing this. This is the scariest thing ever. It is so huge. Like, I don't think you're even seeing. Does this help you see the scale? It's like twice my size. And just because I'm showing this does not mean that I murdered that bear. <gasps> we had this whenever I was little. My older sister had her own line in her room because that was a thing where we had like our own phone line. And uh, she had that see-through phone and it was amazing. Good vibes only. No problem. Colonel Sanders and then this girl. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's like the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so this is by far the ugliest chandelier I've ever seen in my life. Who did this? So basically, I just love the ugliest things ever. This is so weird and I like it so much. <laughs> so this chair kind of reminds me of those chairs that have like the big top at the, the top part. And I really, really have always dreamed of having one of those. And this kind of reminds me of that, but I think I need to hold out. I don't know. Generally, I don't want to buy stuff at Pier 1. I did just get a chair there. I need to show it to you guys. It's still in my trunk, but uh, this is kind of cool. It's just I don't know what to do with my bedroom, and it's upsetting. This is kind of neat. I'm just really bad at deciding. <sighs> this is how I feel. So I just got to my parents' house, and here comes Franny. Whoa, whoa. Hello, Franny. Are you having a sad day just like every other day? She won't even look. Hello, Franny. <laughs> what are we having, Mom? Barbecue, chicken, potato salad, beans, Yum. cucumbers. So I kind of struck out yet again the story of my life at uh, Pier 1, but I did find some good things. So my mom helps me pick up my mail from uh, my P.O. box because she actually works a lot closer to it because I used to be close to it, now I'm not. And so this is the stuck o mail that I got and I'm so excited to open everything. This is what we're having. And it's a crazy chicken feast with potato salad. Mi favorito. What kind of cake is this? Cake? Kentucky butter cake. What does that mean? <laughs> Have you ever had it before? Nope. It's just gonna be like a pound cake. Hopefully it'll be good. So I'm opening some of the boxes and this is so cute I don't even want to open it or at least I had to like show you guys what it looked like before I opened it. Okay so once I got to the inside it just got cuter. Look at this. The best gift you could have given her was a lifetime of adventures. This is so cute and it's from Harley and she actually has an Etsy shop but she like made this one specially for me and I'm so excited. Um, I guess it's called Simply Gypsy. I love this Harley. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just opened this one and it's so cute. It's from Chandra and her Etsy story is Story and Other Stories and she wrote me the sweetest note ever. Thank you so much. She, I had no idea what to expect whenever I read the note because she said, I make these things called little big heads and I was like, what? And she made me a Marie Antoinette one and it's so cute. What? I had no idea what to expect, but you just like hang it 
on the wall. And it's so adorable. Gonna tell the truth. I want a little big head that's Leanne. Just saying. My mom was helping me open another box and she was like, you're gonna love this. And they're pink flamingos, but I just got two pink flamingos, but I haven't set them up yet. <gasps> oh, these are better, I think. But are you gonna be that neighbor? <laughs> they're not gonna go in the front. They're just gonna go in my dead grass in the back. You don't know, it's terrible back there. Oh, I'll have a flock of pink flamingos. <laughs> So basically, if I incorporated like all of the things that you guys sent me in like one outfit or one day or one room, I would be the most exciting person ever. <laughs> and this is a cactus. Let me see if I have From Bianca. Thing that oh, okay. This is so cute. Who doesn't need a sequin cactus pillow? I was gonna stop uh, opening everything on camera, but then now I have to give a big shout out to Brittany. This is the cutest card ever, and she said the sweetest note. And then she also totally hooked me up with a new peekaboo neutral, love of my life. Thank you so much, because I can never find these. Okay, so I'm home, and clearly I changed my makeup and hair and everything, and I had to rush and do my new favorites video. Ugh, I had so many camera issues and I'm so annoyed with everything. Not really everything. I'm just annoyed with my new camera and the new setup and everything because ugh, it's just different and I need help. I just want to make YouTube videos that are good and I'm trying my best. But annoying but i'm really hungry i think i'm kind of hangry honestly so that might be part of the frustration but did i show you that i actually went and got the pants remember in one of my last vlogs i showed you guys these pants that i was looking at from express oddly i've been to express in like 80 years um but i found these super flared pants and I finally bought them. So many people were like, you have to buy them. So you guys pushed me over the edge and I went for it. I need a snack. I think we're gonna have a Hot Pocket. And seriously, Hot Pockets make me think of Jim Gaffigan. Every single time I have one, it makes me kind of feel a little bit guilty, but at the same time, not so much. I, I should still be full from that massive dinner, but, or massive lunch, but I'm not. Okay, so Alan was supposed to come over tonight, but then ended up that he couldn't. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm probably not going to do anything super fun. So I think I'm going to end my weekend vlog. Um, I hope you guys had an awesome weekend, and I hope you have an awesome week. And thank you. I love you. Bye.